Okay, so in a, in a few minutes, you know, I'll introduce Zach, Zach, Zach Kreider from Gordon's Appliance Repair. I was just saying, there's this funny that how many times I see somebody on Facebook asking if you know an appliance repair guy. And of course, I jump right on it, you know, uh, Zach. I jump right on it, and then a little later in the day, I'll look and somebody else will put, you know, Gordon's Appliance Repair. So you have a great reputation. Yeah, I, and we work really hard for that. You know, we, we uh, try and treat our customers as family and, um, you know, we make mistakes and, and we own up to our mistakes when we make them. And, you know, we stand behind the work that we do. We, we, uh, we really love what we do. You know, it's, it's uh, something that Floyd started. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's when just, did he, start that he started it in 1977. This will be our 40th year in operation. So and um, he, I can tell you from personal experience with Floyd, he, he established phenomenal reputation. He really did. With, uh, because it's interesting, let me ask you this question, um, because I think it's, it's, you probably love it, but as we go into, you know, from the 20th century to the 21st century, it doesn't seem to make any difference because maybe not the high level appliances, but the, the average appliances, they don't last real long. No, they? no, they really don't. Um, the life expectancy the last few years has been about three to five years on new appliances. Um, Eric and I just did did training um, a few days ago, and uh, we were there talking with the manufacturers, and they're really trying to shift that now. Finally, they've they've kind of realized, you know, it's a it's a bad business model to have stuff with such a short span. So they're really trying to to change that and bring it back to the 10, 10 and 15 year life expectancy. So um, one of the biggest things coming out is they're coming out with, the, um, by the fall, it'll start um, a new Freon. It's, it's actually uh, R600 basically. So it's basically butane um, and they're gonna be using that instead of the Freon that they're using now. So we're gonna see some interesting shifts yeah, here. Um, so if you buy a new appliance and, and this is one of the things I was just talking on Facebook about it last night, um, the fire prevention council is, is kind of leery of it and we're kind of leery of it too. They've been testing this R600 in Europe and there's been a lot of fires and stuff like that. Um, because it is, it's, it's, it's a fairly flammable <coughs> material. I mean, it's yeah. basically butane. Yeah. Um, so <sighs> it service is going to be more critical. Um, you know, for us paying attention to what type of system it is, because there's still going to be the older systems on the market um, until those all kind of clear through. So, like I said, they're going to be starting the new appliances roughly in the fall. Um, by January, it sounds like everything is going to be on this new Freon, any of the refrigeration. So, when they, uh, when you go to store XYZ, does that store, um, do they, deliver and install the appliances or is that outsourced? A lot of them will and a lot of them are outsourced. Um, it, it, it's kind of a 50-50 mix. You know, some of the local companies that we deal with, they send their own guys, their own trucks and, and do stuff like that. Like Barton Carroll's are good, good friends of ours, good friends of Floyd's sure. for years. Um, and they send their own guys, they send their own trucks. Um, you know, we handle the microwave and dishwasher installation for them. Um, and we actually do do the sales on the microwaves and dishwashers for them. Um, but like their washers, dryers, fridges, stoves, you know, the, that stuff, they actually install by themselves. Yeah. So we repurchase ourselves. That's probably a company we should have on here one of these days. Yeah. yeah. Folks from uh, Mark and Carol. Yeah. But if um, I buy an appliance, you go, uh, sorry if I, I missed it, I was just checking on something. Uh, can you, will you bring it over and put it in or how do you? Uh, it, it, de it depends on, um, so we I have... my pickup truck, can you guys take it off the pickup truck and bring it in, I guess maybe? I yeah, we've done that for customers before. It's not our favorite thing. We're not really e equipped for that, um, you know, but if, if where you buy it from drops it off, puts it in your house, we've done installs for customers like that. We'll actually, because certain companies will come out and they're like, oh, drop it inside your house yeah. and then... You know, um, and so we get calls all the time. Hey, can you install this oven for me? Can you install this fridge for me? They dropped it off and left. Um, and we do that, 
you know, that that we're equipped to do. But as far as like taking it in the house, taking it off of trucks, we just we don't have the equipment for that right now. Right now in their cars, and you know they they're like every 15 minutes they might be in and out listening. So it'd be a good idea if you gave your phone number and that website. Oh, for sure. People can go get all of the information or like for sure. Uh, for sure. Harvey would say. And I still have another question. Yeah, uh, so our phone number for the office is 815-725-2516, and the girls in the office are really good at getting you on the schedule and getting you taken care of. Um, and then our website is gordonsappliance.service.com. Um, and I'll speak have everything on our Facebook page. I've, yeah. been, I've been sharing it, and I'll do the same. Zach, let me ask you a question. So if you go to a house, the appliance has been there, been there for quite some time. Oh. You ever find any special treats uh, under these appliances? Oh yeah, we've seen some. We've seen some nasty stuff. Uh, I just worked on a dryer yesterday, and I went in the house clean and came out completely covered in lint and softener and soap and everything else. So, um, you know, we'll pull fridges out. Fridges, a lot of times, people, and this is the time of the year that you need to make sure you clean your condenser coils and stuff like that. It's starting to get hot. Um, and if you don't know what that is, then you need to have us come out and and uh, schedule an appointment to clean that for you. Um, but, so we'll pull a fridge out and fridge hasn't been pulled out since it was installed. So every bit of dust, every bit of dirt, magnets, kids toys. So you're saying ours hasn't been moved out in 10 years. Yeah, it's time Which, for us to get out there. It is anyway though. <laughs> so. When you talk about washer dryer things, you're talking about the butane, which is something to be concerned about, but also, uh, if you've got a dryer, you've got a, uh, a thing for that. Yeah, the vent. Oh, yeah, you got to make sure you get those clean. We, uh, uh, Floyd always recommended, and we still recommend, uh, Dryer Vent Wizard of Will County, which is uh, Joe Enzenberger. Um, they do a solid job. Our, our guys keep the cards in the truck for him. Um, we could do it, but it's more equipment. I don't want to send a guy on a roof in the middle of winter. Um, Joe actually has the equipment to yeah, be able to do that right. stuff. Yeah, because yeah. A lot of these townhomes, mine included, run through the roof. Through the roof. Yeah, they run straight through the, the roof. The, other, the, the townhouse next to us. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't care. They just yeah. get out in his townhouse. It, it all depends on how the builder does it, but townhouses tend to be the ones yeah. that the lint backs up the worst because they have either the longest runs or the craziest runs. Yeah. I think mine so. is both long and crazy. And that's something we can we can actually assess when we get out there. If you have a dryer that's not drying well, we can actually take a look at that and go, okay, well, this is going to be a venting issue. You are going to need this part and this part because it wore it out, but you're also going to need to get your vent cleaned, and then we give you a card for, for dryer vent wizard. So. Zach Kreider, Gordon's Appliance Repair. I will make sure that, the, the, you know, between tonight and tomorrow, I have all their information on Facebook again. And as a matter of fact, I'll put his business card on Facebook now. Before we disappear, we want to uh, make an announcement. We're rolling out with a, a maintenance package. This kind of goes along what you guys were asking. Um, we have a trial version coming out now. It's called Gordon's Gold. So there's two different plan tiers that's going to be on our Facebook and on our website. Um, but basically, we come out, we do some preventative maintenance on your appliances. Um, take a look at what's going on and then it offers reduced service calls throughout the rest of the year so um, we're kind of excited about that program it's it's been a ways in the work um, but we're gonna we're gonna launch the trial version of it the beta version of it today so good. Great. awesome well we're glad to ha we're thrilled to have you in here yeah it's good to be here always always enjoy talking yeah. with you guys maybe I'll see you tomorrow if not hopefully I'll see you Tuesday night yeah for sure all right we're gonna take a break friends over 50 show